Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so today I'm doing a video blog um, and I'm going to talk about following your dreams and kind of my journey with following my dream, uh, which is what I'm doing with music. And I just think kind of how important it is, I think, to follow the things that are your dreams, whatever those things are. So yeah, so I'm going to tell you a little bit of my story. I mean, I'm not going to, I've already done like an overview of my story, but more specifically, I'm going to talk about kind of like my back and forth journey with wrestling with how to and if I should pursue my dream or not, which is to do music full time, which is, you know, what I'm doing and on my way to continually do. Um, so yeah, so mm, my earliest memory is legitimately me praying that my career would be music. Like when I, was, I think I was like six or seven and it was the first house my parents ever lived in, um, you know, back in whatever that was. 1999 or something and I, I literally prayed I remember a prayer that I would be a famous artist one day and that's the earliest thing I've ever desired so yeah and then I got um, older and I think in high school I like when I started writing at a pretty young age too but honestly I like I just felt like people were always better than me like I wasn't really ever a superb guitar player or piano player um, or even a singer early on and so it kind of discouraged me and I felt like you know what I'm not the best so maybe this isn't my dream, like maybe it's someone else's dream and I can't really do that. So I think that's when I started kind of doubting it. Um, and like my parents are, like I've talked to my parents are lawyers and business people. And so kind of the idea of pursuing an art as a career was like really dangerous and it was really like unknown. And I think, honestly, I think my entire family line is entrepreneurs and business starters. Um, not that music isn't a business, but definitely like people that were just business people, not not artists, that pursued artists, art as a career at least. Even though my family has different artistic things they do um, an awful time. So anyway, so yeah, so I um, kind of doubted it, kind of doubted that journey, kind of doubted that pursuing your dreams is smart, you know, because it's not really practical or tangible. And so in college, I got my degree in business management. Um, I didn't, I hated college, like not the experience of being with people in college, but just the college, the learnings, the way that school is done was really frustrating for me. I don't really think in a sit-down manner. I really need to creatively interact with the world and that's how I learn and so the way the classroom is is very hard you know because it's all dry and it's all like information and I would just zone out and just think about crap and music and people and experiences you know and, and just like not the not what it was in front of like not the school that was being taught to me I never really focused on that and I did well like I did fine but um yeah and so I was gonna get my degree in business and then I was gonna go to law school um, like my family and I was gonna um, become a lawyer and work for my dad and that was the route I was on um, and then I heard this talk where this guy pretty much was like you should never settle for the easy thing and you should never settle for anything less than what's ultimately in your heart um, even though it's scary you know even though that's dangerous and there's so much risk in choosing to not take the easy route because really for me the easy route would have been to go to law school and work for my dad like my dad's a really successful attorney I could have worked for his firm um, but I would have hated my life I would have been so miserable so depressed like I just know it would have been and so and I hate school so the thought of law school was like death so yeah so I remember my junior year of college I called my parents and I told them I wasn't gonna go to law school and that I was gonna pursue music and they were pretty um, discouraging on the front end for like about a year or two. They were really like fearful and kind of like, oh, like, is that really what you're going to do? Like, you're not going to make any money. You're going to live on people's couches. Like, you know, that's not like what our, that's not our family heritage. That's not what we do. You know, we do well, we're successful. And so it was really hard because it made me feel like, man, am I being an idiot for pursuing my dream? Am I being an idiot for doing the thing that I feel like I'm, I've been made to do? Um... Yeah, and so it was pretty tough, but then, um, like, whatever, fast forward five years from then until now, and, like, my life is so fulfilling. Even though it's not super easy, and I've had to bounce around a lot of side jobs at different times in this process, and I've lived, I had to live at my parents' house for quite a while in that process, and I only recently moved out. Like, it's been so much sacrifice in pursuing my dream, but the thing is, like, my, like, your spirit, my soul, whatever it is, like, is so satisfied with the lifestyle I have, even though it's not super predictable, it's not controllable, it's not, like, nine-to-five job, 
consistency. Um, I, mean, I didn't sell. I know that like I can genuinely say that in no way, in no shape, w no way, shape, or form, have I settled in my entire life for anything at this point. Like I'm not settling in my relationships. I'm not settling in my friendships, and that all comes from the fact that I didn't settle in the biggest thing in my heart, which is to pursue this dream of music. So yeah, so that's my story with it, which some of you know bits and pieces of that. Um, but I just really want to talk about that. The I think the importance of pursuing the thing that's in your heart. Like, what is the thing that like you've dreamt about since a kid, being a kid, but like fear or um, cultural just like indoctrination of like the practical route versus the the dream route. Like, what are those things? And I really challenge you to to think about that and to think about like when I was a kid and like not just like the random one-off, I want to be an astronaut or I want to whatever, but the real, th maybe that's your dream, but things that were consistent, things that you felt like, you know, I really, like that makes my heart flutter when I think about that, you know? Um, and, and it doesn't have to be a vocation, it doesn't have to be a music career or a astronaut career, like maybe it's falling in love, you know, and maybe that's something you gave up on and, you know, maybe that's something that you need to like realize, like that is my dream, you know? And, and even in my story a little bit, I really do, that's even something I think I gave up on was like finding love, you know, and that's part of it. Um, but like I, even that I gave up on, but even that I'm realizing now I didn't need to. Like even recently I've, I met someone that I've fallen in love with and it's, it's insane. It's radical and it's like something I didn't see coming. It's something I kind of quit believing for, you know, but like, like life has a way of surprising you with things that sometimes you felt like are too far gone or you're never gonna get there or it's not possible but like I really do think that those things are the deepest desires of your heart are things that um, you're made to experience and you're made to do so yeah whoever you are whatever your place in life is at like don't necessarily go out and just quit your job and start pursuing your dream like they're definitely practical transition steps that are necessary um, but also sometimes you just gotta quit your job and, and sit and be still for like a period and just be like, what do I wanna do? And why have I not been doing that thing? You know, whatever that is, whether it's a career, whether it's love, whether it's uh, whatever. So you yeah, have pursue your dreams, you're made to do it. I really believe that. And so anyways, so now I'm gonna show you guys just a quick preview of my song, Dark. Um, there's a version of it up on Spotify and uh, like Apple Music and stuff right now and iTunes, but this, so I just, that was kind of the demo version, and this is like, we just recorded the final version that's going to be getting radio play here in the next month or so, um, in Portland and hopefully across the U.S. and stuff, and so I want to play you the first minute of the kind of final version of Dark, even though this isn't like the final mix, it's like pretty much what it's going to sound like. So, yeah, it's going to be just like a minute of the final radio version for Dark. month or so um and on the radio so yeah much love to you guys um thank you for listening thank you for watching and if you sign up for my mailing list um i'm gonna just depending on when you, you're watching this video if you sign up for my mailing list sometime between november 8th and november 11th 2017 um i will send you a free download of a, an acoustic raw version of dark just like a one take me singing it on the piano that i'm gonna record right after this video so yeah, um, and otherwise sign up for my mailing list in general too, just to hear about whatever I'm doing at whatever point in time you're watching this video. And it's ZachWolfMusic.com, Z-A-C-H-W-O-L-F Music.com, 
and there's like a little contact me button and then you just submit your email to me and then I'll just send you updates of when I'm in your town and when I'm playing shows near you and when I'm releasing new music and all that fun stuff. So yeah, much love back and I'll talk to you soon.